And welcome back. And welcome to the machine. Or in this case, a foul. This was supposed to turn one of these into two of them. The idea was that you put the ping pong ball in there, nice bright light, because there is a seam. Not sure if that can be, if the light will see it. If I do it that way, it's probably not going to see it. But there is, a, you just might make out the seam in the shadow about there. See the shadow moving? That's the seam in the ping pong ball. And the idea was you put it in there, adjusted it with a light until the seam was in the right place. There's a vacuum pump or air pump buzzing away there. And the idea is laser shone down here or here and this slightly rotated under the laser. And it would cut ping pong ball in half. Now, I had two lasers to play with. Two lasers to play with. Ping pong ball falls out. And a 3 watts and 30 watts. They were both 450 nanometer lasers which is a sort of blue light bluish light what can i say it fouled <laughs> will the camera pick up that one let's have a look now that is what a focused 30 watt blue laser can do to a ping pong ball. It didn't even cut all the way through. Then we played with it and we played with adjusting heights and all sorts and I managed to get that. As you can see it cut all the way through. In fact, it even burnt the wood underneath. But uh, with a full ping pong ball at 30 watts at the same height as what cut those slots, this is what it does to a full size ping pong ball. Notice lots of attempts in different angles and directions, and not a lot. Now the black lines, which are out of focus, I don't know, yeah, did cut through, but that was when I stuck blue tape, blue masking tape or painter's tape, little strip on the ping pong ball, and as you can see, it did cut through. But of course it left a burnt edge where it burnt the blue tape. And so blue tape, burnt edged, lots of black cut, no tape, and you can see it's barely having an effect. So uh, laser went out the window for the time being. So next I dug this a garage. Now this was a brand new 15 watt Antex iron. Hadn't even never never had a plug on it. And it's a good 
40 years old or more because I was given two of these when I started work when I was 16 back in 76 and I was given one for plug on to use at work and one as a spare and this is the spare so when I took it out of the packet it was pristine apart from the cables have all gone hard And then here we have a piece of folded copper that slips on like that. It's got a bit loose, it was tighter. It's relaxed with the heat. And in there on the tip, it's a scalpel blade. And so the idea was this time, as you can see, I got a bit too close and burnt it. You uh just pokes it in as the ball rotated and it cut the hole. Part of the problem was if you don't go deep enough, It can reseal behind it. If you go deep enough, it will in fact cut. And uh, you can see here, I've had many plays. What tended to happen was the plastic melts and builds up. There's a runny mess on the blade, so eventually it stops cutting and just forms snotty bits. So this is, <laughs> I take it, I suppose, a failed project. It can do what I want it to do if I can find a cheap laser or access to a laser that will cut white ping pong balls. But until then, pump can go back to where it was. And uh, I'll go back to using whole ping pong balls and not half ping pong balls. So I hope you found it interesting to see a project that didn't work. I thought a 30 watt laser would cut a ping pong ball, but you can be wrong. It did glow very bright without, you know, needed the goggles on. As a, it was a very bright white ping pong ball. Anyway, click on, click on subscribe, click on the like bell, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.